Hi guys, in this video we're going to learn the difference between is or are. When you will use is and when you will use are. Is here is a singular verb and are is a plural verb. Let's see, everyone blank here. So everyone are here or everyone is here. Be careful with the subjects that contains one thing and body. For example, you can have every, some, no, any. Alright, so these words, read it out. Everyone, everything, everybody. Someone, something, somebody. No one, nothing, nobody. Anyone, anything, anybody. These are sometimes confusing because look here, everyone sounds like a lot of people, right? It appears to be a plural word. However, everyone is actually a singular word. They must seem to include a group, but actually these words are singular. They must pair with the singular verb is. Everyone is still one, so it's singular, right? So you have to remember this. All these are singular subjects and they take singular verb. Everyone blank here. So what is it going to take? This is a singular subject. So we take is. Everyone is here. Some of the equipment blank heavy. So some you're talking about singular subjects. Some of the equipment is here. These flowers blank lovely. These, what do you think? These is a singular subject or a plural subject. So listen guys, whenever you have this or that, these or those, this or that is a singular subject which take the singular verb is. These or those are plural subjects. That means you're talking about more than one. Here you're only talking about one quantity. Here more than one. So we use plural verb that is are here. Now there is one more difference between them. This as a singular subject means something is near. And that as a singular subject means something is far. It's kept far. Now here, these as a plural subject means some things are kept near. Those as a plural subject means the things are kept far. Now let's see. This is, you can say lovely or anything. This is lovely. That is lovely. Now this means something which is near to that. That means something which is far. These are lovely. Those are lovely. These are the singular subjects which take the singular verb and these are the plural subjects which take the plural verb. Alright, so whenever you find this or that, use is. These or those, use are. So here we have these flowers blank lovely. So these means flowers are kept near. These flowers and it's a plural subject. So we use are. These flowers are lovely. Blank anybody home. So as I told you, you have to remember this. Anyone, anything, anybody takes singular verb is because it is a singular subject. We use is. Is anybody home? All the phone lines blank busy. Now here again, you have to remember something whenever you have something like this. All the phone lines. Now here comes countable and uncountable nouns. So listen guys, whenever you have all or most or some or none, any of these words used in the sentences with suppose the information or you can use it with of the reports. Now here, whenever it comes like this, all of the information or all of the reports. Now here, information is uncountable noun. Uncountable nouns 
always take singular verb is. Reports is countable noun. Something which you can count how many reports. So, they take plural verb are. So, if they say all of the information is true, use is. Most of the information is true. Some of the information is true. None of the information is true. If you use reports, like countable nouns, you use are, the plural verb. All of the reports are true. Most of the reports are true. Some of the reports are true. None of the reports are true. So, whenever you're using countable nouns, use are. Uncountable nouns, use is. Done? So, here we have question number five. All the phone lines blank busy. We use are. All the phone lines are busy. None of this information blank correct. Now, I told you information is uncountable noun. For uncountable nouns, we use singular verb is. None of the information is correct. Most of the reports blank false. So, reports are countable nouns. So, we use are. Most of the reports are false. Mathematics blank an easy subject. Now remember guys, whenever you have mathematics, economics, French, English, all the subjects are non-count nouns. Even though they have S at the end, we still say maths is easy. We use singular verb with that because it is an uncount noun. So mathematics is an easy subject. Whether you have S or no S, we use S with that. Any subject, mathematics, economics, French, English is an easy subject. Education blank valuable. Now, education is an abstract noun. What do we say? What do you mean by abstract noun? Education is not a physical thing. We cannot hold in our hands. For example, few more examples, love, advice. They are all abstract nouns which cannot be counted. Non-countable nouns. So, they are non-countable nouns. So, we use is singular verb here. Education is valuable. These lessons blank valuable. These lessons are valuable. You can count your lessons, right? Everything blank ready. Now, as I told you, everyone, everything, everybody, they are all singular subjects. So, singular subjects take singular verb is everything is ready. This cake blank delicious. This here, now I told you about this. What did I tell you? This or that are singular subjects which take is as a singular verb. So, this cake is delicious. Someone blank in the car. Someone, something, somebody. All these are singular subjects. So, they take singular verb is. Someone is in the car. No one blank at home. No one, nothing, nobody. They all take singular verb is. Because they are singular subjects, singular subjects. Now here, notice. Like how you have written someone as one word, you cannot write no one as one word. You need to keep a space or keep it as hyphenated. We read it as two words. No one. No one is at home. Question number 50. Most of his advice blank useful. So, what is advice? As I told you, it's an abstract noun. It is not a physical thing, right? So, it is non-countable noun. So, what do we use with non-countable nouns? Singular verb is. Most of his advice is useful. Those laptops blank expensive. Those. Those means these are those are plural subjects which take plural verb are. Those means something is kept far. These means something is kept near. That's the difference. But they are both plural subjects and they take plural verb are. So here we have those laptops are expensive. Also you can remember is or are in past tenses was or were. So, either you can say is in present tense, was in past tense, are in present tense, were in past tense. So, you can you can fill up with was or were. Everyone was here. Some of the equipment was heavy. These flowers were lovely. Was anybody home? 
all the phone lines were busy 